Well, welcome back. It's time for our healthy habit of the day, and it's our goal here on Balanced Health to give you tips that are practical and expensive and quick and easy that you can incorporate into your lifestyle. So, Joe, what's our habit of the day, quickly? Our healthy habit of the day is a simple yet practical before meal diet tip. And we talk so much about obesity, and this is something that everybody can do. Take a small apple with the skin on it and a glass of water with lemon about 30 minutes before a meal. And this shows to just significantly decrease the amount of food that you'll consume if you do that. So 30 minutes before you're going to eat, eat an apple with the skin on it, a uh, glass of water. My daughter actually likes it a little bit warm. You squeeze a lemon in there, and it seems to curb your appetite. It's, apples really don't make you more hungry. I thought apples made you hungrier. That's what I always heard. Uh, well, that's why it's key to eat the skin on it. Okay. okay and, an apple and does a lemon have any significance? Uh, it's a liver cleansing thing. Oh, okay. You know, le lemons help cleanse the liver. And I, I know that it seems to work. Now, whether it's psychological or not, doesn't matter. If I eat less, I win. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so, well, that's that. I'm going to try it and eat do, less. Do so. Let's get back to our questions here real quick. Uh, Dr. McKeever, you've been practicing for about 30 years, if I remember in your, reading your bio. Um, in that time, you've seen a lot of changes in insurance. Uh, two kinds of insurance we want to quickly touch on. One is how is health insurance coverage affecting care? And then how is malpractice and that whole scenario affecting mm. care? Right. It's, it's a very complicated uh, uh, subject, um, and it does affect care. Uh, I'll, I'll start with the malpractice situation, especially in Illinois. Um, it is a high-risk uh, uh, state with regards mm -hmm. to malpractice. There has there's been no real tort reform here with regards to that. And so how does it affect uh, uh, care? We have trouble recruiting physicians from other states to mm. come and practice in this state. There are, there are places in the state where there are no neurosurgeons. If you get in an accident and need a neurosurgeon, there is none for miles a, a, around oh, because, uh, and the same thing with obstetricians. These are two real high risk. You have doctors fleeing? Do you have cardiologists fleeing, fleeing Illinois? Going to Wisconsin, going to Iowa. Yes. That's scary, isn't it? It is scary. You know, I'm, I'm so sorry that we're out of time, but you are going to be with us on our next show, which I'm very delighted about. So I'm, we're looking forward to having you back. So, sorry, we did. We'll, we'll take that up on the next show. Well, remember, if you have questions about natural remedies, healthy recipes, or need some quick tips on how to improve your heart health, email those questions to balancedhealth at tln.com. Or if you're interested in learning more about Edward Heart Hospitals, visit kylea.com. Thanks so much for joining us today, and we'll see you next time on Balanced Health. And thank you, Dr. McKeever. So glad You're you welcome. could join us.